Copenhagen is one of the cities with the best quality of life on the planet, one of the most sustainable, and also one of the happiest. But why the city is an example for others? And how did Copenhagen become one of the most sustainable cities in the world? The city of Copenhagen was fortified in 1167, and this is considered the year of its foundation. The city's port favored its growth and Copenhagen became an important commercial center. It suffered numerous attacks, initially by the Swedes, between 1658 and 1659, and then by the British, between 1801 and 1807. The Germans occupied the city, between 1940 and 1945, during the Second World War. After the war, a major expansion of Copenhagen took place. In 1960, Denmark managed to increase its gross domestic product, which became one of the largest in Europe. This occurred with some delay compared to other Western European countries. Industrialization and urbanization contributed to the country's economy and increased energy consumption. In the 1970s, the oil crisis affected Denmark, which depended on fossil fuels for around 90% of its energy production. The options to solve the crisis were to return to the use of coal or to invest in new technologies, such as nuclear and wind power. Denmark sought to prioritize the use of natural resources and investment in clean and renewable sources for energy generation. In 1990, the use of coal still predominated in the country's energy matrix but Denmark has sought to improve its energy matrix every year, Although it still uses coal, currently, around 47% of the matrix is made up of wind power. Wind energy, together with biofuels and energy from waste, accounts for about 75% of its energy matrix. Denmark is one of the countries with the highest quality of life on the planet, and also one of the happiest. It has a Human Development Index, HDI, of 0.901 and a life expectancy for its residents of 79 years. About 99% of the population is literate, and investment in health and good results in education are also highlighted in Denmark. Trust in institutions and people, as well as concern for the population and the environment, highlight the city and the country. The Green Revolution can be seen in Copenhagen. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is very important so that we can make new videos for you. Some actions contributed to good living conditions in the capital of Denmark. The construction of cycle paths was considered a priority for the city. Cycle paths were built even for neighboring municipalities. The bicycle is considered a way of life for the Danes and since the 30s they had the habit of using it. Approximately, half of the population uses a bicycle to go to work and they are used also for distances of up to 5 kilometers. In addition to not polluting the atmosphere, the use of bicycles contributes to improving the health of the population. One of the measures to encourage its use is called the green wave. In this system, traffic lights are synchronized at peak times and, in places where the lights turn green, cyclists can travel at 20 km per hour without interruption. Another important initiative was the replacement of part of the asphalt with a grass mat and more permeable sidewalks in the city's neighborhoods, neighborhood of St. Kielde specifically, to facilitate the drainage of rain. According to a law from 2012, new buildings should have a green roof. Before this law, there were about 30 green roofs in the city, and after the law, there is an estimated increase of 5,000 square meters per year. Green roofs must absorb 50 to 80 percent of rainwater per year, while still reducing heat. The city is creating pocked parks that consist of green areas of rest for the population that is formed from the transformation of public spaces. 68% of the food served in municipal institutions is organic and there is a goal to expand organic food to kitchens and cafeterias in the city. The depollution of a canal in Copenhagen allowed the creation of a public swimming pool, for the leisure of the population, and the construction of a wind energy complex has allowed the city to increase its use of wind energy. 
The city also started a project to replace diesel buses with electric buses in 2020. Another important initiative is the afforestation of the city with fruit trees. This initiative aims to provide food for the population, improve air quality, and promote shade. The information on where you can pick the fruits is provided through an application. These are some reasons why Copenhagen is considered a model for other cities and a great place to live. If you liked the video, leave your like, and don't forget to subscribe. This is important for the channel.